Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, and welcome to Series where I teach you how to build a Discord to pop up for your server today. We are talking about working with APIs, so let's get into it. Uh, this is a new addition to the plan, this is kind of a very last minute entry, but um, a lot of people in my server do do it, so I thought I'd briefly cover it with a very easy API, I think. Because um, it, it is pretty damn easy. So we're going to go into our fun cog, where are we there? Uh, and we're going to create a new command down here. Uh, and we're going to say uh, command name equals fact. Um, and this is just going to uh, display animal facts. So async def uh, animal animat <laughs> animal facts self context. And then we're going to have a going to have an animal. Which we're going to pass as a string. Um, that is necessary because we can get an anim a fact of a particular animal. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pass this for now and I'm actually going to show you what the, uh, uh, the website looks like. So if we open a new window in Firefox and then if I get the link from my plan real quick it is da -da 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 -da, https slash slash sorry some dash random dash some random dash api dot ml and I'm not sure what a domain ML is. This will take you to this page. Now this, uh, you get like a number of different APIs. So we're going to be using the facts and the images one to construct a little fact. Um, but there are others down here as well. Of course these aren't the only APIs you can do. I'm just using them because the URLs are really simple to do and you don't need anything like tokens or anything like that. Um, so we are going to, if I just come over here real quick. Uh, we're actually going to ignore the links for now and we're going to write some code. So um, we need to use uh, something called AIO, A AIO HTTP for this, which I believe we need to import. Um, so I'm going to do, I think it's, I actually don't know if it's third party or not. Uh, I might need to pip install it actually because this is a AIO HTTP. Okay, I think I think we get it when we install Discord.py. Um, I'm pretty sure. So that should be fine. If you don't have it, then just quickly go and get it. From AO HTTP import request. Um, and we come down here and go into it here, and then we do. Uh, so we can set a URL. Equals and then well we actually do need to go uh, to grab the URL so we're gonna get a dog fact first. Um, uh, come on, minimize. There we go. Uh, we're just gonna get a fact about a dog for the time being. I think we're gonna leave the animal for now, uh, and we'll come back to that. Uh, so this will be a dog fact. So async with request get um, the URL. Header. I don't think we need any headers for this one, so we're actually going to leave that as response. Uh, if you did need headers, you can pass it through as headers. Oh, that would be headers. Headers, there, oh my god. Equals and then a dictionary of headers. Um, like that. Oop, like that. Uh, we don't need. I'm actually going to pass through empty headers just to make things easier. As a response. If response dot status equals equals 200 that means it's okay so we can then get our data which we're going to set as data equals await response dot json this should I think mean I, th I think we can now access this directly so um, as you can see if I quickly go here uh, the endpoint of uh, the API literally just spews out some raw data. So this is the raw data we got. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Um, to see the oldest intact fossilized remains of a pet canine dates back 33,000 years. It was discovered in Siberia in 1970s. So we have our our key fact and our value, which is this. The only thing we actually have is a fact. So we can just come over here. I'm actually going to make this a bit bigger as well. Um, can have our uh, Text equals data fact, and then oh, I should really set that. We can literally just do a await 
ctx dot send data fact and then that should work um, and then we can have like an else awaits ctx dot send um, we can actually have like an elif response status actually no um, we can make it a bit more general um, <clears throat> API returns a uh, and then f string and then response dot status and that should return just any status it comes back with. So we can launch that. Uh, go into Discord. Bring that over here. Uh, that should just work. Did, did it come up with an error? It did come up with an error. Um, what in the world? Have I launched the wrong bot? Wait! <laughs> Hang on. Is it using the wrong channel or something? I have no idea what's going on there. I'm just going to quickly... Uh... Oh no, because I did, I did clone the channel, so I might just maybe not update it or something. <laughs> That'd be an interesting one. Um, where, did I, where the hell did I put that? Where did I put that? Uh, it on ready, wouldn't it? Yeah, self standard. And then is the oh the code is okay. I thought I changed it, but apparently not. Um, there we go. Okay, I don't know what's going on there, but oh, fact. And then there we go. Uh, so the idea that a dog's saliva has healing powers has been around at least since the ancient Greeks and Romans. Whose physicians believed it to be an antidote for poisoning. We can then get another fact. Uh, dogs have a sixth sense. That's that's less of a fact. <laughs> that's less of a good fact. Um, yeah, that's a really that's a really simple API call. However, we're not done because we're gonna spruce up. A uh, we're gonna spruce it up a little bit. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set uh, a customizable animal. Uh, and then we're going to check that the animal is correct. So if animal in, and then um, move over here, and then gonna have a look at the animals that this thing actually is able to use. Is here. Um, so Jesus Christ. Okay, so uh, dog, cat, panda, fox, bird, and koala. Okay. So uh, dog. I forgot it instantly. Dog. Uh, cat, panda, whoops, it's uh, fox, bird, and koala, okay, fox, bird, whoops, koala, and uh, that should actually be lowercase, thinking about it, um, p, because it's just to make things easier, so people can Choose whatever the case they want, plus we actually need to put uh, uh, animal.lower, that needs to be an f-string, fantastic, and that needs to be animal.lower as well. Cool, so, uh, and then else await ctx.send, no facts are available, yeah, available. If I could type, there we go. Four, come on, there we go. <laughs> For that animal. <laughs> oh god, that was extraordinary. Um, and then we can do some. Uh, could do some error handling here. So animal fact dot error. I just realised I haven't done any error handling for the echo. Is that a problem? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> that might my error. We'll see. If that if that does error, just add some error handling to it. I probably will at some point. Um, I probably need to do some. Actually, do I do the thingy here? It's just missing record. Oh, I do. Okay, then we don't need to do any error handling here then. Um, cool, fantastic. So that should now just work. With any luck. Cool fact. So if we just do fact now, it'll say one or more record is missing. Fact cat. So we can get a cat fact. Uh, cats have scent glands along their tail, their forehead, lips, chin, and underside of their front paws. But if you do like a fat fact shark, uh, no facts are available for that animal, which is kind of sad. Um, we can uh, 
do some fantastical stuff and it's wonderful um, but it's still it's still a little bit boring so we're gonna make an embed out of it because um, <laughs> we could we make embeds out of everything <laughs> Uh, embed, we actually need to import embed, don't we? Have we done that before? No, we haven't, so we need to actually do that. Uh, embed equals embed. Title, whoops. Uh, title equals. Um, I don't know. Animal.title fact. Um, embed. We could probably just do it in a, the description, thinking about it. Couldn't we? Yeah. Um, let's come over here. Whoops, it is. Description equals, uh, well, the fact. We can uh, set embed equal embed down here for later. Uh, color, sure, we'll have a color. Uh, color equals equals, oh, I'll put a dot at the end of that line, not a coral, not a comma, I'll explain that. Uh, ctext.author.color, I call it ctext and I don't know why. Um, and then that should be, you can put an author and a footer on there if you want, but uh, I'm not going to bother with that for now. Um, then... have a fat cat and it should make an embed of it it's almost definitely crashed doesn't it <laughs> no it hasn't what's it what's it done what have I done wrong oh there we go it just took forever <laughs> why did it take that long <laughs> um fact dog is it gonna take that long all, all the time now I'll do an embed okay maybe it was just the API went a bit weird um yeah, so we can now generate all sorts of random facts, and we can now put them in embeds, and now we're, we're now going to get an image for our little fact. Um, so unfortunately, this is a slightly annoying part of this API is that the the burb is it's called bird in this. You've got bird here, and then burb here, uh, which is kind of annoying. Uh, we're going to deal with it, we're going to deal with it. Um, so we're going to get facts. URL uh, and then oh, that probably doesn't need to be a constant fact URL and then uh, image URL equals F and then this and I'll just uh, link the API up as you can see if, if we click this we'll get an image of a dog a completely random image of a dog um, no idea where it's getting these images from but it's getting an image from a dog from somewhere um, <clears throat> and then we do animal.lower um, excuse me, we need to get uh, if oh no, animal.lower does not equal should I make <laughs> oh, should I just make animal um, there we go. So much easier. <laughs> oh, the beauty is a Python 3.8. Um, see, look how many characters we're doing. Uh, it does not equal bird else. Oh, actually, it would do. It makes more sense if we do it this way around. So, burb, if animal equals equals bird, else animal. Really annoying bit of the API there, but. um. We're doing, I believe, it is embed set image uh, URL equals it'd be image URL IRL. Oh, it's an IRL up here as well. How about it? Uh, change that. Cool. That should now work. So now we'll be able to get an image of our of all sorts with our nope. <laughs> URL is not defined. Of course, I haven't changed the rest of the variables around. Um, where is it doing it before here? Fantastic. Um, actually, no, I just thought. <laughs> uh, oh. We're going to do an async request for that as well, aren't we? Oh, that's annoying. Async with 
the quest. Oh, should we just get the image straight up? Just hold it there. Async with request. Uh, get. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if you can do. Uh, I imagine you could do request within request. I can't imagine there'd be a problem with that. Um, headers equals that as response. Uh, if response dot status equals 200 image equals uh, await response dot json um, fact no it'd be what's it called I don't actually know what it's registered as it's link well, that makes perfect sense um, <laughs> well I thought it would be called image but never mind um, else image equals none and then we make a second request um, so if if image is not none uh, we'll actually call it image link just so it's a bit easy just so it's a bit um nicer variable wise image link <coughs> Oh, I should have changed that over. Well. That should work now. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, fact cat. I want a cat fact, please. Nope. <laughs> coroutine object is not subscriptable. Oh, screw you, you stupid coroutine. Bastard. <laughs> I, hate, I hate that so much about coroutines. Uh, image link equals data link. Um, you can't just uh, subscript uh, coroutine objects, it's just very annoying. There we go, so we now have a cat fact with our cat. Uh, it takes a little while. Um, your one year old pup is, is as physically mature as a 15 year old human. God damn. And just to show fact and bird, um, it connects to the right thing. Um, one can kill its enemy. Wow, that's quite astonishing, actually. Uh, and seen as you know, my profile picture is a fox. And let's get a fact of a fox. Or not? There we go. <laughs> Foxes are uh, also predators to larger animals: eagles, curlews, grevels, bears, mountain, and mountain lions. I really wanted to know that. Um, <laughs> uh, so we could. Uh, I was going to do a little bit of a, a please wait, um, but I think we're running out of time. The episode's gone on for quite some time now, so I'm going to leave that. But that is kind of how to do <clears throat> working with APIs. You could do like a little please wait message if you want, and then um, uh, send a message and edit the message with the embed. I'll probably do that in a future version. We will see, um, but we're getting on a bit now. Um, so if you like the video and say hello down below, if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below as well or join the Discord server in the description. Um, if you really like the video consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos and if you really really like the video consider supporting me on Patreon because that would be really cool of you to do but of course you don't have to. Next time we are talking about adding cooldowns to commands. Uh, so we're going to be I'm essentially going to be showing you how to limit the amount of times a command could be used um, in a specific amount of time. So, yeah, I'll see you then.